Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is our new upcycle project. Stay tuned to see how it turns out. Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flip Hustle. Today we've got an easy upcycle project to do. We picked up this uh, old school retro school desk a few weeks ago, so we're going to do a really basic tutorial for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole thing blue inside and outside blue and um, we're going to actually sand this down and we're going to wax it like a dark um and we've got some antique wax we're going to use or do an antique wax on this and um, it's got some metal hinges on the side which are quite rusty so what we'll do is we'll sand them down and we will paint them silver we've got some silver spray paint and then um, yeah it's probably going to be a pretty easy one like i said yeah so let's get started Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove all the hinges and stuff. It's pretty rusty, hopefully they'll come off easy. And then Chantel is going to give the whole thing a sand down with 180 grit, just like a scuff sand. So yeah, let's get these off. Sorry, Chantal's actually going to clean it first with sugar soaps. Yeah, so while I'm taking these hinges off, Chantal's going to start giving the unit a rough air clean down with sugar soap. Okay, so that's the top off, came off nice and easily. There's a couple more screws just in the side to actually take them off from the top, so I'm just gonna quickly do that as well. It's one off. Yeah, so there they are, they're both off. Very rusty. Um, yeah, like we said, we'll give them a sand down and we'll be spray painting these silver. I'm just going to put the top to one side and what we'll do is we'll be taking this probably outside to give it a sand down with the electric sander. Okay, so Chantal's cleaned all of this with sugar soap and she's just going over it with warm soapy water now just to get any residue off. And then we can let it dry and then we can start sanding it down. All right, the unit is dry, so we're going to give it a scuff sand and we're using 180 grit sandpaper. And Dean's going to watch me do it. I am. Okay, it's been sanded, it's been vacuumed, it's been cleaned with a damp cloth again, just to get off any dust and stuff. Uh, one thing I would say, which we always say, is preparation is key. If you don't prep your piece well, then it, you're not gonna get a great result, so make sure you prep it properly. Anyway, we're gonna let this dry for another minute or two, and then we can start priming. Okay, so we're gonna be using Zinzabin Primer. It's a shellac base. This is really good stuff. It prevents like wood bleed and all that kind of stuff. Um, the reason why we use this stuff on all our projects is because we have been in that situation before. We've started painting a project, we've done a couple of coats on it and then we get wood bleed through. It's an absolute nightmare. So definitely recommend using this. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna be using a cheap um, two quid brush that I got from the hardware store. Chantel's using a slightly better brush that um, Debbie gave us. Debbie is the lady who we get all our supplies from, Debbie and Paul from Decorare. Um, just want to give them a shout out, they've given us quite a few items to try out. So yeah, thank you and we really appreciate it. But anyway, we're going to start priming, so let's go. Chantel's just put in cardboard under the legs so we can paint right down to the bottom. Oh, nearly fell over. Okay, so the primer's been drying for about an hour. 
and um, we're going to give it its first coat we've also just given it a really light rub down with 220 grit sand and sponge we forgot to record it but yeah we just rubbed it down like we did before really lightly and um, yeah we're going to be using Frenchy chalk paint for this one and um, this one is mother duck it's like a light blue color it's leftover paint that we had from our last project and uh, we just want to use it up really um, also what we've done, Chantal's got a bowl there, I don't know if you can see it. We've just watered the paint down and put it in a bowl and we're going to use that because this stuff's quite thick. So yeah, anyway, let's go. Okay, so that's the first coat done. We're probably gonna do three coats on this. We won't record it all. You've seen the process now. But yeah, we'll sand it down lightly in between like always, um, and then we can start top coating and then we can crack on with the top. Okay, so while the paint's drying, we're actually gonna take the top off the desk outside and we're gonna give it a sand down. Uh, we're just gonna use a little detail sander. We don't want to use that inside because it'll make such a mess. Um, and yeah, we're just going to use probably 180 to sand the finish off. So yeah, let's head outside. finished bad day for wearing black okay so this has been sanded down now I'm gonna start waxing it we've got some antique brown wax we'll probably do about three coats on the front and back and um, while I'm doing this Chantel is gonna sand down the hinges and give them a good clean and then we can take them outside to spray them for the wax as well I'm just using uh, all-purpose cloth I'm pretty sure it's lint free you can use any lint free cloth for waxing and what I'm going to do is just rub a, a light layer on and then I'll rub it off and then buff it. Let's go. Okay, so that's one coat done. Like I said, we're going to do three. So we'll leave that dry for a little bit and then yeah, we'll crack them off the second and third coat. So we've got all the excess paint off, all the lumps are gone, we've cleaned it now, so we're going to let this dry and then it's ready for spraying. Okay, so that is all the coats done. We've done three coats in total. We lightly sanded in between with a 220 grit sanding sponge. We've let it dry for 24 hours and now all that we need to do is give it one more light sand down before we put on this. It's polyvine, decorated varnish, it's dead flat so it'll give it like a matte finish. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna start sanding down now. Okay, we're gonna start polyvining now. It's probably gonna need three coats, and again, we'll lightly sand in between coats.
Okay guys, that's the first coat done of polyvinyl. We're gonna do the second and third coat. We won't bother recording it because you've seen the process now. It's pretty straightforward. And then we can start putting the desk back together. See you in a sec. Okay, the desk is pretty much finished now. We've done everything. So we're just gonna put the brackets back on the top and then stick the top back on and then we're done. Okay guys, let us know what you think about the project in the comments below. We're going to link all the products in the description, so go check them out if you want to buy any. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any new content. Thanks for watching and as always, we'll, we'll catch, catch you on, on the flip side. side.